afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Today is the 20, no, today's the 30th. Tomorrow is May 1st. Oh my golly, 15 more days and we can plant garden. It is so cold today and these guys are scared to death because I brought them over in the big building. It is rain here all day. It is freezing cold outside, at least to me it is. Vanessa's even got a coat on, so she's cold and she's never cold. So I decided that we would do these over here in the building and they're like freaking out. When I went to get them from their mother, these by the way are Prissy's kids. When I went to get them from Prissy, they were playing and having a blast. And I brought them in here where there's a little bit of an echo and it's a radio's different in here. And they're like, they're gonna die any minute. So they're probably gonna lay here and shake. This is probably nerves, but this is also good for them. Um, and I would not be surprised if we don't see them relax here in a few minutes and somebody get up and walk around. But they're doing really good. Um, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna give you collar colors and we'll take, get microchips. By this time, you know what? We probably don't even need to do microchips. I'm sure you all know which puppy is yours. So let's skip the microchip. So uh, it's the end of the day here. We are both, Vanessa and I have been out in the kennel. We're both filthy. But I said, let's do one more video and get them done today. Um, I'm going to start with this little one. This is the little female with the pink, or the pink, yeah, purple collar. And I don't know if we've told you before, but she is a phantom. She is marked just like this one is. You just can't see it yet. But I can show you these eyebrows are turning brown. If Vanessa can zoom in. You have something in your hair that I really want to pick out. I think it's food. There, I got it. So these little eyebrows are turning brown. These little legs are turning brown on her feet. And see, so she says, I'm shaking like crazy. And she should have brown under her tail. Yep, she does. So she is going to turn phantom. And there's a little bit of brown coming in these. It may tell, well, there you can really see it right on the, there's a really good shot of that brown coming on her legs. So she's going to be marked just exactly like the other puppy. I think she's the littlest in this whole bunch. She's always been the, okay, it's just habit, sorry. I'm gonna pick it up and do it anyway. Uh, I've never chipped her yet. Oh no, I have to stick you with that terrible microchip. So I'll do that before you come so you don't have to watch me do it. So I've never microchipped her because she was so tiny. So I feel bad for you having to stick you with that needle. Yeah, Vanessa shaved faces. And I'm gonna move this over here so you can see weights on them too. She says, I am just shaking like a leaf. Yes, I am. She should have brown in her ears too, yep. It's all around the edges of the inside of her ears. So she's a phantom. I know you're hiding your face next to me. You'll be all right. All right, let me zero this out. So we are, drum roll. Oh, almost two pounds. Not quite, but uh, that's, that's not almost, that's like horseshoes and hand grenades. Uh, one pound, 12.2. So, she's getting there. But here's the drawback. We have to hit two pounds or I cannot spay her. So, we're gonna have to play it by ear and see how it goes. We got a couple more weeks. They're five weeks old yesterday or today. Today, Vanessa's going today. So, <laughs> I knew it was close. Oh, somebody doesn't smell good in here. Please don't do that on me. Uh, but anyway, we've got about three more weeks. So we'll play it by ear, see how it goes. Uh, we're gonna, once we get them away from mom, we are gonna cram everything in them we can cram in them. The rest of these guys are good. It's okay, you'll be all right now. Yeah, you'll be all right now. All right, this one is, I'll oh, forget that thing. This one is the turquoise collar. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's a female. Face has been shaved right in front of her eyes. You will find that schnoodles do not tear if we keep the... Oh, we missed a little spot right there. And you got a tear there. If you keep the hair trimmed away from their nose, and we always trim away from their eyes, they won't tear. You won't have those gooby gobber snotty things in the corner of their eyes. So... <clears throat> choked on myself. Um, coats are beautiful on these. They're all this way. Even the little one has a gorgeous coat. I love these creamy colored ones. All right, let's see what she weighs. Quit jumping. You're all right. 
two pounds, 1.0 ounces. And I can't tell you for sure if she, I think this wheat in color is going to turn this color. You can kind of see the difference between her leg and her ear. She may or may not turn, but I think she will. I really do. All right, I'll set you down. Yeah, let's set you down. You're the one I thought would get up and run around. Yeah, you're the one I thought would get up. This is the other female. This one has a yellow collar and she's a real bright phantom. No doubt in my mind what she is, is she's got the brown under her tail and her legs. She said, I'm flying and I know I'm gonna. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's funny, when we go to put them in the bathtub and hold them up like, like this, these legs start going. Lots of times they'll start swimming with their front feet for even when they hear the water. I know it, you're just a good baby. Are you a scared baby? You're a scared baby. Yes, you are. Look at those eyes. She's like, oh, I'm gonna die. All right, let me move your sister. Let me move your sister out of the way. There you go. Are you having a traumatic day over there? You're scared to death, aren't you? It's a little different in here. It's got an echo to it. One pound, 15.2. But we brought all of our lights down here so we knew it would be easier. See there, you can stand up. Look at that. See, you're all right. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna move either, okay? <laughs> Poor baby. Yep, you gotta get used to changes. Changes are coming, buddy, in about seven days. Okay, I'm not doing microchip. It's such a habit. This is the royal blue collared male, the only boy in the group. And he's the same way. He's got the Wheaton color on the back, but if you look underneath that Wheaton, he's lighter like the legs are. So. I don't know if they're gonna stay wheaten or if they're gonna turn. What do you think? He says, I don't know, scared to death. Yes, you'll be better next week, I promise. Yeah, he has such a cute face. Somebody in here is a little bit gassy. Ooh, hope you guys wait. All right, so we are, whoa, you spread out there. That's cold on your belly. Two pounds, 3.2 ounces today. So that's the crew. Um, they got about another, they've had their four week warming. I know everybody in here is just having a spasm. If you want to stand up, I can make you all stand up and you won't move. Let's make you all stand up. Okay, one more. Oh, you laid down. Very seldom can I plant puppies and they stay where I plant them. He says, oh, what is that? He says, now watch, he's going to get up and move. I told you he'd be the first one to get up and move. When they're in there with their mom, they are just wild. They chase her, they play, he's creeping around. He says, oh, there's that big person. Now what are you thinking? Huh? You act like you could wag your tail. What do you think? He says, I don't know, I'm debating. Usually about the time we get done with the video, when we got a, a, a group that's really timid like this because it's all new, then they get okay when we're about 12 minutes into it. But I do think they're gonna ease up here a little bit. This one's starting to move a little bit more. She's thinking about looking at the toys. She says, I'm thinking about it. What do you think? I know. Can you get up and walk? You're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, look there. What are you chewing on? You're chewing on the toy already? She says, I realize we're not really gonna die after all. He says, I'm going to crawl over here with everybody else. What do you think? Yes, I know. She's a good girl. Yeah. Are you happy? Not so sure. Their four-week worming is finished. Um, they got their four-week Neopar shot, which is just their Parvo booster. What are, you gonna, what are you thinking? Here, look. The monkey will pet you. Yeah, see? The monkey will pet you. They're just debating. But um, I'm going to send out, oh, it's okay. I'm gonna send out everybody's videos. This one's hiding her face in his neck. I'll send out videos this week if they have not gone out. I have to check my paperwork and see if I've sent them to you. And if not, I will do that this week. So I send you out of videos on an email that has everything in the email that I'm gonna tell you if you came to pick up a puppy on a normal puppy pickup. 
So if you will watch that video, uh, there's about five or six videos. They last about uh, eight to 11 minutes each, and it will explain everything that's gonna be in your puppy packet. So then when you come to get your puppy, you won't have so many questions. Or if you do still have a lot of questions, give me a call and we'll go over all of it before you get here. But if it's a really nice day, we're gonna do puppy pickup outdoors. That way I don't have to, um, I've got one employee that's still scared to death of everybody. Vanessa and I aren't quite so scared to death of everybody. We're still a little bit cautious because I do have people come from all over the United States. And I think the, the farthest award this year is going to go to the family in Seattle, Washington. They are coming all the way from Seattle, Washington to pick up their puppy. So uh, they get the long distance award, that's for sure. But uh, they're all doing great. If you have questions before and any time at all while they're growing up, um, I'm probably not gonna do individual photos this week only because of my schedule right now. And, uh, but I will give you a new video or new pictures next week besides your video. Plus they'll be moving into the house with us next week. Uh, we probably won't take this one, the little black female away from mom for a little while. I wanna make sure that she gets plenty of time with mom. Are you thinking about, oh, she says, no, don't touch me. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I wanna make sure that she has lots of time with mom just because of her weight factor, but uh, we are gonna start them on some extra cottage cheese and some extra formula just to give them some more calories. Are you flying? What do you think? Say, the more you do to me, the better I get. Yeah, you gotta learn to have everything done to you. Yep. So next week you should see a big change in them because the more they get handled right now, they're gonna get another bath. Um, they're gonna come to the house. And especially about six weeks old, they'll come to the house probably for the day and uh, they'll eat up at the house. They'll be up with us. Shop backs will be running. Vanessa runs a shop back in their room anyway. Um, but it gets them used to a little bit different schedule. And right now it's very quiet. Mom's in a four foot cubicle with them. Um, we may even bring her over here and put her in the big room now that they're big enough they can't get through the wires and let them learn to run around. So I hope you've enjoyed their video and I hope you have a great weekend. Please call me if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon.